So as everyone already knows, 2020 has been quite the year. It's been a year of tragedy. It's been a year of surprises. It's been a year of chaos. It's been a year where we all had to completely isolate ourselves from the world. It's like, as, it's like so many things happened all at once. So let's do a little recap on the tea that happened this year. Here are the top 30 tea spills of 2020. Hey guys, this is Teen Tea, the show you can get the latest news about the hottest celebs, plus a little bit about what's going on in the world. I wanted to tell you guys that I am doing another giveaway, but this time it is for the Charlie D'Amelio fans. I'll be giving away Charlie's book, Essentially Charlie. I'll be giving it to two lucky Charlie D'Amelio fans. And all you have to do is subscribe to me, like this video, and comment done. That's all you gotta do. Also, I wanted to mention that I got this hair from Shh, It's My Hair, and so make sure you go check them out. I will put the link to their website in my bio. Let's get right into the video. The first thing which everybody knows about is Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio getting canceled. So everyone pretty much already knows what went down. So basically the D'Amelio family had James Charles over and they all had dinner which was made by a chef. And here is the full story. They had served Dixie snails knowing that she has a weak stomach. And they basically did that to like get a reaction out of her to get her to react all crazy and stuff. And so when she ate it, she had threw up because she had a weak stomach. And then Charlie made the comment, do we have any dino nuggets? Which was obviously just like a joke. But that sparked a lot of hate towards them. Also in that video, people accused Charlie of not really caring about her fans and only seeing them as a number because she had set a goal for herself. She was basically talking about how it would be cool if she would have hit 100 million followers on the anniversary of her hitting 1 million followers, which people took that as she only sees her fans as a number and she doesn't really care about them. And it got people like Prez Hilton and Trisha Paytas to start putting in their two cents. The second thing that happened this year, Tony Lopez got exposed. Tony Lopez was exposed for talking to younger females, knowing that they were younger, and he apologized for it. Bruh, you can't apologize for being a, you know what. I can't say the word because apparently YouTube has these new community guidelines and it'll, they'll flag my video or whatever, but you know what I'm trying to say. People basically let it slide and he's still doing what he's doing. And yes, TikTok is still letting him have a platform on there. Actually, let's just get through all of the peds of this year. The third topic that we have, Zoe Laverne. Everyone already knows, I talked about it in my last video. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Everyone knows about how she kissed her 13 year old best friend cause she liked him. Y'all, it's disgusting. Moving on to the next ped. Next ped we have is Jake Fuller. He was basically doing the same thing as Tony Lopez, so he still got a platform. People, it's, I don't understand TikTok. I don't understand. Netflix has been undergoing a lot of fire from the recent series and movies they've been putting out. For instance, everyone already knows about the movie Cuties talking about how they displayed children in an inappropriate way. We get that they were trying to spread the message of it was wrong, but you don't have to do the thing to show that it's wrong, okay? Like, no, it was very disturbing. They had a lot of underage, I can't, I can't even say, I can't even say the word because YouTube will still try and take my video down. Younger girls, little kids, like people, kids who are like 11 to 12 years old, twerking and doing all these things is TikTok the movie basically please go check out a video of someone talking about it because i'm not getting into that whole thing today the sixth thing we have is jake paul's house being raided by the fbi now i don't really know much about this but there are pictures of them pulling out a big weapon that was supposedly hanging around in his house He's just been crazy, y'all. The Benji and JJ situation. So basically, Benji and JJ were accused of talking to an underage boy, and a lot of it turned out to be lies. It was basically this teenage boy who came out on Twitter and started posting things about how Benji and JJ were grooming him and stuff like that, and the kid had apologized for it. 
The eighth thing that also brought Charlie D'Amelio a lot of hate is when Duncan's made a drink for her called the Charlie. Honestly, I think they could have come up with a better name than just the Charlie, but you know, whatever. People were sending her hate because they didn't feel like she deserved that kind of opportunity. But yeah. Willy Wonka being canceled. Now, if you aren't on TikTok and you're just like, what the heck, Willy Wonka? Willy Wonka is basically a TikToker on there and he dresses like Willy Wonka. Now, he wasn't really canceled, but he did get into this little situation, you know? Basically, he had made a TikTok. Someone had asked him to speak Spanish and he was speaking Spanish and he played a Spanish song, but then he was also eating um, salsa with chips, whatever, you know? Hola, soy Willy Wonka. Huh? See? What color is the sky? I'm mi amor, I'm mi amor. You tell me that he. I think some people were saying that it was mostly people who were outside of the Mexican and Hispanic community who were getting offended by it, and some Hispanics are saying that it wasn't offensive. I don't know. I can't speak for anyone. I'm just here talking about what I heard. AMC movie theaters talking about how they could be closing because you know how the pandemic has stopped everyone from being able to go out and so not many people are able to go into movie theaters and so they've been losing money basically listen i love the amc movie theater it's my favorite movie theater i don't want it to go the next thing that happened was ariana grande getting engaged she got engaged to her boyfriend who she had been dating for a year now some people are having mixed emotions about this because they've only been dating for about a year. And some people are happy for it. And some people are excited for it. But they all come to the conclusion of they just want her to be happy with whatever she does. They just don't want this to be another situation like all her other boyfriends. They announced that iCarly is coming back for a reboot. It's just gonna be the adult version of iCarly. We don't know if some of the cast will be coming back for it. Some people are working on other Show. And some people like Jeanette who played Sam had some emotional trauma that went on when she was on set for iCarly. So we don't know if she wants to go back. Whether she does or doesn't, we have to respect it. Influencers being performative activists. A lot of people on the internet have been getting angry at all of these big influencers because they only seem to be talking about Black Lives Matter and these big issues when it's a trend. That's the same thing they did with Black Lives Matter. Now there are some people who donated in secret but they just didn't put it out into the world because they don't have to they don't have to put that out into the world or anything. But some people really were just talking about it when it was trending and blowing up and just talking about it so that people wouldn't get mad at them. There are also some people who just can't talk about that kind of stuff because of like a their contract or whatever they can't really talk about talk about these um controversial subjects but yeah people were getting mad at them for that perez hilton had got banned from tiktok so since that charlie d'amelio situation he had been posting some really crazy content. People, first of all, people were getting mad at him and Trish, Trisha Paytas for being like 30 year old, over 30 years old and being in kid business and stuff like that. They were talking about how they're adults and they just want to give in their two cents and stuff, but some of them were really just doing too much. Some of the adults on there were doing too much and sending hate towards a kid. I really feel like they should be trying to guide her in the right direction in a mature way. I feel like they didn't really, some, some of the adults, I'm not talking about all of them, but some of the adults were only talking about this, not trying to help her learn and grow as a person, but just to hop on the hate train. And that's not really mature or a good look for an adult. So if you are an adult and you're seeing kids on the internet doing this stuff, don't just talk about these things to hop on the hate train and stuff. Actually try and help them learn and grow as a person because your intention behind doing this is not always to help them grow. That's, that's what you say it's what it's about, but that's not really what it's about. And you just wanna hate on a child when you should be guiding them, you know? Another thing that happened this year is Dixie D'Amelio's account being hacked. It was hacked by some dude. I don't know if it was her friend or whatever, but she was kind of chill about it. She didn't really freak out, but he got her account deleted, but then she got it back, so eh. Travis Scott was bullied off of Instagram. So if you don't know, he had dressed up as Batman for his Halloween costume and everyone clowned him. They were comparing him to a roach, you guys. And people, ooh, it was so bad. Just look at the funny memes. Like, 
all of this got so bad that he literally deactivated his um, Instagram account. We found out that Lil Wayne and Ice Cube were Trump supporters. Now, a lot of black people weren't really surprised by Lil Wayne. I don't really know a lot about Lil Wayne or anything, but they were talking about how they're not, they're saying that they weren't surprised by it, I guess, cause he does crazy stuff like that all the time. People really clowned Ice Cube for doing it too, so eh, you already know. Ryan Garcia cheating on his fiance with Malu Trevejo, and not to mention pregnant fiance. Now, I don't know if they're still together right now, if they're working through things, but the, here's the thing, let me tell you the story. So basically, Malu didn't know that he was still with her. He didn't really tell her much about it. He told her that she wasn't with him. And after the whole thing, Malu had talked to Ryan's fiance and they worked things out and she was like, well, I don't know why you're still with him, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, they worked things out. She's not a homeworker, you guys. She didn't know. Jason Derulo got kind of canceled. He got canceled for like a little bit, but it didn't really affect him a lot. So basically, armies had accused Jason Derulo of clout chasing off of BTS, because if you didn't know, they had did a collaboration of Savage Love. And here's this clip from him on Ellen. For you did a remix of your hit Savage Love with BTS. Now it's number one Billboard Hot 100. Uh, were you a BTS mm -hmm. fan? How did that come about? You know, I actually met them um, a couple of years ago and uh, they walked up to me and, uh, you know, they told me how much they appreciate my work and whatnot. Um, and it was it was it was great, but I didn't know who they were at that moment yet. Uh, and then later on at that award show, they were doing some kind of uh, competition between different uh, fandoms. Right. And they were winning against like Bieber and Ariana Grande. I was like. This is, this is, this is serious. So people were saying that he only noticed them when he noticed how strong their fandom was. And also when he had made a video of him celebrating it, instead of tagging BTS and Josh, the guy who actually created the Savage Love sound, Jason had instead tagged all of his TikTok friends and tagged BTS and Josh in the comment section. And then after he got all the hate, he had made a tweet thanking BTS and Josh and actually tagging them in that. Well, and one of the things that ARMYs were most angry about is because he did not give ARMYs credit. Instead of thanking BTS's fans, which are the actual people that got it to the top of Billboard, he thanked his fans. Even though before they had did the collab, his song was not at the top of Billboard and it was when they did the collab with BTS and ARMY streamed it was when it actually got on Billboard. So, bro, your fans, your fans didn't do that. That was ARMY's, bro. That was ARMY's, bro. I mean, I'm over the situation, but still, you know. And after that whole thing happened, ARMY just started spreading a lot of hate towards him in his comment section on TikTok, which y'all, if you're still doing that, just stop. It's not doing anything. The situation is over and it's just giving him more views, which more views means more money. So don't even waste your time doing that. Spend more of your time streaming BTS's music. While we're on the topic of BTS, this year BTS had donated $1 million to the Black Lives Matter movement and armies had doubled that and they also donated $1 million to the movement. This really surprised a lot of black people who, who aren't K-pop fans and this really, really meant a lot to black armies as well. Another thing that happened with BTS is they basically broke every record in the book. They literally passed the Beatles record. Listen, if you're not a BTS fan, then cool, whatever. But you gotta at least respect them. You gotta respect it. Another thing that happened was BTS's online concert, which almost a million people were watching. Which y'all, that is a lot for an online concert. Another thing that happened with BTS is Yoongi, AKA Suga, one of the rappers of the group, had finally got his shoulder surgery and he's finally healed up, you guys. I'm not sure if he's able to dance, but I'm pretty sure he's able to at least be on stage with them and perform things like Life Goes On where it doesn't, it doesn't involve any dancing. So he's doing okay. Another big thing that happened is Nikki Tutorials came out as transgender. Basically, someone had found out that she was transgender, had blackmailed her and was telling her that if they don't do this or do that, then they were gonna tell everybody. And so she took matters into her own hands and she just told everyone instead. 
very proud of her. Nikita Dragon, y'all. Yeah, everyone knows she be switching from race to race to race like every two weeks. Like she literally be waking up like, hmm, which race am I gonna be today? People also clowned her a lot because she seemed to kind of like Tony Lopez. And she was also a very close friend of his even after they found out about what he did. She doesn't hang out with him anymore right now, at least I don't think she does, but she was still hanging out with him a little bit after the whole situation happened and people were ticked off at her. And people were also clowning her because she seemed to be thirsty for him. Like she was always all over him and stuff. And another thing that people got angry about and sent a lot of hate to influencers for is how they keep going out during COVID. I talked about this in my last video again, so make sure you check that out. They keep telling us, stay inside, it's important, don't be selfish, yet they're going outside and they're being selfish. Like I said before, do what you preach. Another thing that happened with Ariana Grande that also includes the TikTokers going out is how she totally called out all these influencers for going to Saddle Ranch. Check out this clip. All things that we could have, couldn't we have just stayed at home for a few more weeks like all the other countries that were fine and are better than we are? Like, did we really all need to go to Saddle Ranch that badly that like we couldn't have waited for the deathly pandemic to pass? And people like Bryce Hall was saying stuff like, oh, that was basically, that was, she's right, but you know, it's, that was like a marketing move. Now, these TikTokers are getting really cocky because they're starting to think that they're celebrities. Stay in your place. Why the heck does, would, would ever, why the heck ever would Ariana Grande need you? D d d stay in your place. She, she's a celebrity. You're a TikToker. She don't need no TikToker for clout, okay? She's freaking Ariana Grande. She could literally buy you, bro. A lot of things went on with Daniel Cohn this year. Number one, apparently she got pregnant. Now, if y'all don't know who Daniel Cohn is, there's been this mystery for years on her age. There's a lot of proof saying that she is 14 years old, but she keeps saying that she's 16 years old. Let me tell you something. She turned 14 last year, y'all. If you don't know who Danielle Cohn is, look her up. She does a lot of things for her age. I know, like y'all probably think I'm bad because I wear a lot of makeup or whatever, but she does a lot of crazy things for a 13 year old. 14 year old whatever however old she is and also she's dating an 18 year old mikey freaking tua y'all 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 let me tell you something i can't stand mikey i can't stand mikey bro you serious you sitting up there thinking that you look cool thinking that you stunned on everybody for dating a 13 year old bro that's sad it's nasty clean yourself up my camera just moved like bro honestly you look dumb like y'all this guy is literally just a clown also don't go sending hate to daniel Cohn. it's her parents okay she was raised her dad her mm, it's just a whole situation that has to do with the way she was raised and the way she grew up so don't send hate to her if you're gonna send hate to anybody, let it be the parents. I, I mean, don't send hate to nobody, but if you are, go to the parents. And the last T of 2020 is Trump getting COVID. I know that's not really T and that's just like politics or whatever, but you know, hey, hey, this is TNT, the show you can get the latest news from the hottest celebs, plus a little bit about what's going on in the world. That was something that was going on in the world. But yeah, Trump had got COVID and we weren't really surprised, but we were also shocked at the same time. A lot of people rejoiced. A lot of people rejoiced. Y'all, I don't wish bad on people. I don't wish bad on people, but I'll know this, I don't wish bad on anyone sometimes. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, again, I am doing that giveaway. Make sure you follow all of the instructions. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the little notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video. And don't forget to put a thumbs up on this video. And comment what your favorite moment of 2020 was or what the most crazy moment of 2020 was to you. 
T T Y L。